If you're just visiting us here in this valley, you've now discovered that we have some pretty incredible snow. And maybe this round you're staying at a hotel, but you don't want to be doing that if you're coming in for the next round. You want to stay at a quaint local bed and breakfast, especially one here in Avon. It's an incredible ownership group. I'm here with Todd Rohr from Mine House. And not only do you run the best bed and breakfast in Avon, but you're also a neurologist, neurosurgeon, I believe, title like incredibly intelligent gentleman <laughs> and today you've brought on a visiting scholar samantha holden from uh, uc denver mm -hmm. and you're here to talk about a, a potentially unique connection between reducing alzheimer's and athletic activities welcome guys thank you yeah yeah so there has been a lot of research recently looking at a connection between increased exercise and decreased risk of neurodegenerative diseases Alzheimer's being a main one, but also Parkinson's and other types of dementia. And we're starting to look at maybe if snow sports in particular, um, skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing could have a stronger connection. Interesting. And where, where do you think that link is or what gave you that theory to start investigating that? Sure. So a lot of um, the exercise studies so far have looked at just kind of brisk walking or cycling um, and being in such a beautiful location here where we have so much opportunities for snow sports in particular kind of just led us to think, hey, let's look at that um, uh, more specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was more location than <laughs> potentially seeing a correlation between like cold air or reduced ah. oxygen levels. Yeah. Yeah. There have been some altitude studies too, um, so that's going to be another potential um, factor to play in, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. well it keeps your, your lungs having to work harder mm -hmm. when there's less, less sure. oxygen in the air, yeah. so potentially mm -hmm. that does something mm -hmm. with the brain. Yeah. yeah. It's so unique. I love that you're on here doing this. Yeah. 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 Um, and down at um, Anschutz at the medical campus, we do have a memory disorder center where we evaluate people um, at any stage, even people just saying, hey, I just want to get checked out, get my memory checked out, um, to people who have more advanced stages of diseases. But we are happy to see anybody to um, evaluate their thinking and memory as well as their movement abilities. Um, me specifically, I specialize in both behavioral neurology, which is thinking and memory, as well as movement disorders where people either move too much or not enough. And um, we are open for any referrals. You don't even need a referral from your doctor. You can just come in and get checked out with us down at Anschutz. And it's not a scary test. Like you it's recommend not. anybody <laughs> go down there and just no, make yeah. sure you're healthy. Absolutely, yeah. And it's, it's never too early just to get your brain checked out, make sure that everything's okay. Um, we do a full uh, examination, including both thinking and memory testing, as well as a neurological exam of the entire body, how the brain is communicating with itself and with the rest of your body. And then um, if we feel like there's more testing required, we can do um, some pictures of the brain with MRIs or more thorough thinking and memory testing. Um, but it's really important to know if something's going on and exactly what it is so that we can take care of it as well as possible. Excellent. And do you have some test subjects lined up here to, <laughs> to kind of get it an initial reading and then see how much they ski and snowboard? Yeah, that's kind of the plan. Not anything um, set up yet, but um, we're looking forward to working together to get something going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. How long are you going to be in town? Um, I'm here for the study? weekend, okay. yeah, and we're going to start some planning stages and then um, stay in close contact in terms of um, working together on a project, but I'm sure we'll have more than enough people interested in participating. Absolutely, yeah, what mm -hmm. an intriguing subject. Yeah. yeah. And finally, Todd, just give us a little plug on Mine House. I know we see some, some video of you <laughs> throughout Good Morning Vale, but it's such a beautiful bed and breakfast. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Mine House bed and breakfast is, uh, like you said, in, in, in Avon. Uh, you can book through us through any of the internet travel agencies or go to our website directly. That would be www.meinhaususa.com uh, uh, or give us a call. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, open for business and uh, love, to have, uh, love to have visitors. Perfect. Thank you very much, Todd. And thank you, Samantha, for bringing such an intriguing topic. And good luck with the study. Reach out if you need any subjects. Thank you. All right. <laughs> now, coming up next, we're going to check in with Mark, take a look at the weather.